Hi friends, we get together again for another session of uh, K-Line Clear Aligners. And this time we're talking about composite button fabrication and their utility. So by now I'm very sure that you've already taken the plunge into the aligner world. And since you have taken the plunge, it is very important that you learn the nitty gritty, how to improve your treatment and make it better as an experience for your patient. So the plunge is the most important part. And of course you need to upgrade your knowledge. So remember that composite buttons are very it's simple to fabricate and very important for your treatment. Also, this particular method that I'm utilizing or demonstrating here has been published in 2007 in the Journal of Clinical Orthodontics. They use separators, whereas I educate the use of modules, the normal modules that you use to put the wire in place over the bracket. So all you need to do is do a oral prophylaxis, etch the area and place the module on top after placing the primer. You might or might not light here this primer, but it is very important that it is placed and the right kind of flowable composite is used. Yes, the best part about using the flowable composite is that we have it in our uh, all our practices and we have it in all the possible shades that you want and this really matches it. Once you've done the etch, and primer placement and the module just fill the space between the module on the edge surface with flowable composite so you will see the way it is shown on the right side and then all you need to do is light cure it so 20 seconds of light curing and this is what it looks like post curing it really is a very nice smooth button and hardly anything uh, can go wrong with this particular fabrication method I found this method to be extremely useful and extremely comfortable for the patient. It is not only comfortable, it is also aesthetically very pleasing and I will show you how it looks clinically. So all you need to do is, this is what it looks like. You need to make sure that you remove the module by cutting it and not by trying to take it off with the Explorer. So always cut the module to remove it because it is still a delicate thing and it gets sometimes very nicely entrenched, even though it is a physical bond, but it still gets nicely embedded with the flowable composite. The flowable composite usually flows below as well as above it partially. So it's always easier to just cut it off. So it's a very simple button and you can make out that it actually matches so well with the tooth color that it is very difficult to make out if anything actually exists there. So this is something very, very simple and very, very clinically useful. And also notice that there is an air bubble where we want that canine to extrude. So that, that is the important part. So always have a good communication with the lab and tell them exactly what you're planning in your case so that they can accordingly plan your case well. If your case is well planned, aligners can rarely go wrong. You can also use this uh, kind of a button which is come with the free uh, preformed uh, molds that you get. And these molds are very easily available. Even they are available with uh, Digital 32 Dental Solutions Private Limited. You can order them from there or any of your local uh, dental dealers. So it's a very simple process. Again, you fill this mold, this, this mold that you see on your left side, and you fill it up with composite. Again, the procedure remains the same. Etch, bond, and then place the mold on top, light cure it. And the mold is made of a kind of a elastic material so it will come off and it can be reused but always remember that you need to sterilize the whole thing before you actually reuse these kind of things once it goes in the patient's mouth it is expected that you have to follow the sterilization protocols and this is the holder that is used to hold the mold in place and it is uh, it's got a contra-angle kind of a shape so it is very easily to locate it anywhere you feel like so there is no problem using this mold, but these molds are generally larger in size as compared to what we can make with the module. So the module, uh, I prefer the module buttons primarily because they are nice and small and uh, relatively aesthetic. So you need, this is the armamentarium that you need. You need the retractor, the primer, the edge, and the composite, and of course the light curing unit. So always remember, very simple procedure and clinically very useful as a tip. And you can also use this in conventional orthodontics, need not be just uh, clear aligners. 
Now let's see how you can utilize these things in clinically. Uh, you know, it is the extrusive movement is the most difficult movement for any aligner to produce. And this button actually aids in this kind of a movement. So we had this case wherein the canine had to be extruded and everybody said uh, that this is not possible because the patient was going out of town. And you can make out that two buttons were put on the lower premolars and lower canine. And the upper canine was just given like a red elastic. This red elastic is not really red. It will actually be transparent, but just for the photograph, uh, you can see that it is red. And this case was actually contributed by one of my dear friends, Dr. Nupur Varma, who practices in Krukshetra in Haryana. So very simple technique, but very simple, uh, easy way of getting teeth to extrude. So all you need to do is ensure that your uh, anchorage side has more retention and more anchorage potential as compared to the tooth to be extract, uh, extruded and you will get this kind of uh, simple mechanics. The same can also be used when you have uh, to extrude individual teeth. In this case, we are using them to extrude the laterals and you can make out that there are air bubbles for the extrusion available. This is an anterior open bite case and uh, this bite will also settle. So simple box elastic used, depending on the force that you want to generate, you can actually have the right size and you can choose the size and the force levels for an individual case. So that's the beauty of using elastics. And uh, those things that we used to say that, you know, when you are giving patients uh, elastics, you can actually control things more easily because the force degradation is much lesser as compared to even e chains. And similarly, the technique where you are always using aligners in cases of compliant patients, of motivated patients, works wonderfully well with the use of elastics. Simple mechanics, simple fabrication, and a great, great aid to treatment the way I look at it. So thank you again for being here today. And I would really appreciate if you could actually, uh, if you have any feedbacks, you're most welcome to visit our site and give us the feedbacks. Otherwise, you know that K-Line, uh, K-Line clear liners are uh, actually provided in India by Digital 32 Dental Solutions Private Limited. Thank you and signing off for today. Thank you very much.